Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Killer Slacker, and today we are restarting my Star Trek Voyager Elite Force Let's Play. The reason being, you could barely hear me in the other ones, so I am restarting it so you can actually hear me. That being said, I'll probably refer to this as Elite Force because, well, it is what it is. So... I'm going to start on difficult, and I'm going to be a female for this recording, because, well, I just want to be. And because I can. On Stardate 48315.6, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control, 70,000 light years across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, we began our 70 year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuva, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti-Borg weapon, the Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed, and the I-Mod is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. Come on. Ensign, I've uploaded your mission objectives and tactical information. Review it now before proceeding. Alright, so pretty much he just wants us to go, alright, we have to rescue our teammates, reclaim the iMod, and what it doesn't say is that we're a red shirt. So, you can expect me to probably die quite a bit. So... This could go very bad. So if you decided to use a, the other weapon we have, the compression rifle over the phaser, you could use this to get your ammo back. The phaser, being it's your basic weapon and has infinite ammo, just has to recharge. I don't see a reason not to use it. Oh, and another thing that I keep forgetting to do is don't stand next to these when you blow them up. Interesting, that one's still active. Never noticed that. So right now they don't, I believe, consider me hostile. But the loading screens on this used to take... Well, I think on my PlayStation 2, which yes, I know I have a PlayStation 2. Gotta be careful here. I know, guys. I know I had to reclaim the iMod. Now let's rescue Beesman. Uh, it took like 30 seconds or more to just load up a section. So the one thing I don't think I've mentioned is that the iMod's primary fire and secondary fire cost the same amount of ammo. Really? I didn't realize that yet. Okay, I took way more damage there than I wanted to. 
I had an eye mod, but uh, what say I stay here and hold down the floor? No, you should come with me. Don't worry, Beesman. It's going to be me trying to come back to get you. Hey, the force field's down. What the? <laughs> Some board just beeped in and they're. <laughs> There's no way to make it up there in time to save him. I've tried. So. All we got to do is continue on. Ooh, health. Dang it. Health. Yay! More health. And ammo. Alright, so here, we want to run. We just want to evade all of them and shoot that. So there is five. Six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 board coming after me. And yes, counting with me, but who cares? Dang it. The timing was bad. Dang it, they adapted. So the main reason I did that was A, to show you what it looks like when they adapt, and B, show you that if you destroy a distribution node, which I'm pretty sure one comes up here soon, uh, you can still shoot them with your basic weapon. I could have killed them, you know. So you can kill him and then start walking over there but it will give you an end game screen saying you failed and being I don't feel like getting an end a failure screen I am just not alright where is it way down there. So you can jump, I do believe you would survive, however, I don't want to risk the health. <clears throat> Shoot him, might as well get the ammo, walk forward, and cause an explosion. Alright, so as we come here, we're going to have these guys beam in behind, and we have some in front. And then we're going to have three more beam in here. No distribution nodes yet. Interesting. Not on my watch. No, I... Dang it. We need to get up on that. <sighs> so while we're waiting, I absolutely love this game. It is 17 years old as of right now. It was made back in the year 2000. And it is probably the best Star Trek game there is. Alright, so up here, there are two different things you can do to complete this mission. Both ways work. So... Located the hazard team. They're trapped behind some sort of force field. Acknowledged, Ensign. 
See if you can locate the control console for the force field. All right. So as I was saying about the distribution node and them being deactivated, is that they had adapted to this weapon. Now they're not. So the two different ways you can complete this mission is you can come up here and use the console, or you can do what is going to happen in the cutscene anyway and shoot the console. In my case, I'm just going to go through and activate it. I still like Beesman. Sir, if I may, how was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Ms. Monroe. A given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation and achieved your mission objectives. Yes, sir. Procedure. Speak freely, Ensign. Deck four. With all due respect, sir, I don't think procedure would have mattered. There wasn't any way I could have possibly rescued them. Someday, Ms. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. <laughs> And by some day, he All means extremely soon day. Computer, reroute turbo lift to the bridge. Status. Captain, we have reports of secondary ETS conduits on decks 8 and 9 rupturing. Warp drive is offline. Responded to a distress signal from a derelict vessel and it opened fire. Tuvok, they don't respond to hails. Maybe we need to send a clearer message. Target their weapon systems and disable them. Break phasers. Direct hit. Phasers had no discernible effect. Half shields are down, Captain. Rerouting auxiliary power to the shields. Captain, I'm getting reports of extensive damage on decks 9 and 10. We're not going to survive another hit. Photon torpedoes, full spray. Torpedoes away. just happened captain we seem to have been torn from normal space i think we've been pulled through some sort of isodimensional rift where are we apparently here captain sensors and most of voyager's primary systems are offline until repairs are made it may be difficult to ascertain exactly where here is
Captain's log, stardate 53854.7. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some kind of starship graveyard, whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control online. Harry, find out what you can about those other ships. I'm oh, sorry about skipping the opening scene. My mouse decided to fall onto my keyboard. So, yeah, it was an accidental skit, but I'm going to keep rolling with it because, well, I don't want to have to replay the beginning again. Uh, it's this way. It is this way. I was wrong. It was the other way. Alright, so here there are a couple different things you can well a couple. There are multiple different ways to do this. I'm going to save him. You could also not save him. Where were you heading? I need to take a turbo lift to engineering. Well the aft turbo lifts were the only ones working on this deck, but they're behind the containment field. So we've got to find a way around. Explosion right in my face. Him telling me that there's a way to shut it down going through these Jeffrey tubes. And now we can. Come on. Thank you. So we don't have to go back this way, actually. Because. Hey, Monroe. Looks like the explosion took out those two aft turbulence. Jeffrey's tubes are the only way down now. I was trying to clear the debris from this one when the EPS conduits overloaded. Great. The starboard side should be fine. This one's going to take me all day to fix now. Almost out of clear, too. So, going that way is just not happening. So we come this way and we get faced Sorry, with another no. option. The data shunt's been severed here. Everything down this way is shut off. Hey, we're getting a power surge here. Monroe, quick, hit that panel and shut off this relay. So, you could that not do close. that, and that yellow shirt over there would die. Not him, which is sad because I don't like Chell. He's annoying, in my opinion. Alright, so, here we are. And, very quick loading screen. Alright. So, now we've got to do some parkour. So, even when it is supposedly all gone, you do not want to jump off until you are absolutely sure it is completely gone. Or else you will still take damage. Don't ask me why. But it will. Uh, this way, and there's Bulana. Monroe, what took you so long? We've got a warp core breach in progress. You need to get in there and shut it down. There are two things you have to do, so listen carefully. First, cut the power relays on the main floor. Then go to the upper level and decouple the dilithium matrix. Wait a minute. You're going to need a helmet to get through that coolant leak. I've got one in my transporter buffer. Hurry up and find those terminals. There isn't much time before we lose containment and have to reject the core. Alright, so since they talked about the transporter buffer, uh, basically it turns, in my opinion, what it does, instead of turns it into a molecularized state, which can be rematerialized instantly when needed, I think of it as it turns it into a version of a data that it can store inside of a computer, and then it can just recreate it afterwards. Hurry, Monroe. I'm not sure how much time you've got left. Well, let me go. Attention. So we come here, access denied. So part one's done. Attention. Warp core breach. Dilithium matrix decoupled. 
Yeah, it was about to say Warp Core Breach. 30 seconds away. We just pretty much didn't care. We did it. That was touch and go there for a little while. No, it wasn't. No problem, Lieutenant. Okay, let's get a cleanup crew in here. Oh. Seal that leak. We need to get main power back online. Intruder alert. For All security and hazard head. team personnel to the loading dock. dock. I could have sworn. Oh. Yeah. This which didn't work last time, now it works. And we're about to get our first weapon! And actually be on our first oh, mission where we're fighting non holographic things. Quick save. I will be coming back to you quite a few times. Launching energy grenades. See if you can eliminate them. Ready? Yes. Alright, so here's our second weapon. I didn't actually use it uh, in the last section, but basically, sniper rifle. So the very second weapon we get in this game is a sniper rifle. Ow. Stupid erosion. Unfortunately, the problem with it is that it uses up a ton of ammo. Just one secondary fire, which is its sniper mode, uses up 40 ammo. But you can actually zoom in with any weapon. How? So now we've got our next weapon the scavenger rifle. It uses a different ammo type than the one we've been using so far. We're pinned down in Cargo Bay 1. We require your immediate assistance. Monroe, Tuvok needs help. Come with us. I'll be with you in just a second. Gotta get some ammo. So now we've got 150 rounds. And if you do dilly-dally too long, he will shoot you. Watch. So... Now we've got full ammo there, not quite full ammo there. Quick save. Because I'm almost dead. Heal me. Thank you. Kill me. Gosh dang it. That's the biggest problem I have is they beam in right next to you. Kill me. Alright, quick save here so I don't have that much to go backwards to. even though I don't really need to get. Cling on. That one over there is a corrosion. More Klingons. Heal me. Stupid 
so first death. All because somebody had to beam in here. Kill me. That is Melon. Kill me. Good save. Great. Heal, heal. Heal. Yes, we did. And immediately there. I am certain that many of you are curious as to our situation. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships and cannot escape. Like the Tarkanus gravity well. 247 ships have been lost there. Or the Bermuda Triangle, back on Earth. Perhaps. Our primary weapons and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we affect repairs. So what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear to be scavengers of some sort, comprised of Klingons, humans, and Malons. And Horosian. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. Yeah. <laughs> I love Your Beesman. superstitious beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell. Caution is recommended. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad Mike Group will beam into Control Room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all cost to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up, then report to transporter room one. Dismiss. All right. So I was hoping we would get the Data gathering. other mission first, but okay, this one's fine. Make sure you try out the new sniper. Well, scavenger guns might come in handy. They used a lithium crystal to get the power source. Most ships use those crystals, so we should be able to find more to power the gun. The second trigger on it fires the energy grenades. Be careful with those. 
And then he tells us if we, we want, we can do this. Initiating program. High noon. And in my last set of recordings, uh, this is the first place I actually died. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, cannot save. I saw you. Okay, so almost out of ammo for that weapon. Yay, we did it! Huh, that went better. But, then again, I already died once. And now we're back up to full ammo. Now we can go wait with the rest of the hazard team. I wonder how long those scavengers have been here. I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this long. I wonder where their ship is. I need to turn down the sensitivity of my mouse. Oh, it was already on the lowest. Oops. Foster's here. I think right now all we have to do is wait for these guys to start moving. Right, we can't go do the simulation again. I can't do anything here. Oh. Got an away mission to perform. Man, I can't believe I'm getting left behind on our first mission. And an intelligence gathering mission, too. Hey, relax, Ken. There'll be plenty of other missions. Uh, yeah, Ken. They're just saving the best for last. <laughs> You're mean. Oh. Ms. Duran, while we have some extra time, I thought we'd review first aid combat protocols one more time. Thank you, Doctor, but I think I am well prepared. I did go through extensive training and testing for this position. Of course. Well, let me know if you develop any nervousness or pre-mission jitters. Don't worry, Doctor. You'll be fine. The only reason why he's not in sick bay is because of that little device on his arm there. Alright, I think we're all heading out to pick up our gear. Well, they are. Yeah! We get to actually continue the mission. I didn't realize there was conversations going on back there, else I would have been there sooner. So the two best weapons for this mission are the scavenger rifle and the phaser. Compression rifle, while good, ain't uh, it's more of a secondary fire and uses up a ton of ammo to do so. So after this video, which is going to contain two missions, I'm going to be creating a video for every mission. Energize. I wonder what was going on. So, yeah, this first one's going to be longer than the rest. Okay, ready to transport team two. Energize.
so we start in with no armor and we only get 50 from that and I did find a way to kind of cheat this game I think I found the data just give me a minute to start the download it's hot in here humid okay so I'm not gonna be shooting that I wonder what those are they look like fireflies well I'll just show you now if you destroy something they repair it one here too he's accessing it now See how they're not trying to come after me right now? How many more are there to fight? Are None. Right? Eh. Yes, See, guys? They just no damage. Attacking a moment ago. Same thing here. I got all I could from the data terminal. Let's get out of here. There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in Section 29. I see it. We'll meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. Great. How do we get up there? This way. So, when I was back there and had the console in my way, what I was doing was just using the lean key to lean over and still be able to shoot them without hitting that so I wouldn't lose my cover that was making it so that they couldn't attack me. Alright, so up here we're going to have two... three. Alright, now we can save and have another cutscene. What are those things? Hmm. They seem to have an isophasic signature similar to our own transporter technology. Transporters? Alright, it turned me around. So that's what they do. I should have switched weapons. The question is, what the heck are you doing, Chell? This ain't the first time I've had a problem with you. Alright, so now we can get a heal again. Quick save. We got more armor. Uh, surprisingly enough, I don't need ammo. Because I've been being a loser and using a phaser. That's the way to section 29. Preemptive strike. So basically that there and that thing up there on the wall would spawn in those creatures, these However, there's fireflies, so if I destroy them, they still spawn in. Because they get repaired. So, in that last room, I just preemptively uh, destroyed the thing so that they couldn't spawn in and give me a whole bunch of problems. In this room... Ow. Running, running, running.
Just come through the quite obvious uh, choke point, please. It makes my life so much easier. Wait, what? Where was that? I feel like I should know where that was. Alright, so here... I just don't care. I'm out. I'm out. Later, guys. You guys deal with that. Really, chill. Quick save, cause... I am paranoid. Alright, so there is a health terminal here. I used up quite a bit of ammo for my scavenger rifle. More ammo. When ammo is something you might need in the future, you do everything you can to make sure you have it. Alright, so we're... Oh! We're in this part. We're about to get a new weapon. Where are they? Chell, are you sure this is the right place? Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Look up. Looks like our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey, Chell! I'm gonna jump! Catch me! Stow it, crewman. Look, Monroe. We've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there were three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. Your team should be able to take out the main computer core through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. Yes, sir. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Good luck, Monroe. We'll meet you at the power core. Hey, Chell, behind you. Ha ha. <laughs> I like Beesman. He's awesome. And he torches my least favorite character. Alright, so. If you see that thing over right there, it is called the stasis weapon. I compare it to a shotgun. And the moment we grab it, things start spawning in. Secondary fire, secondary fire. Okay. Uh, health energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, any... Wait, that's another one? I'm not gonna use it, but... I didn't realize there was more than one in there. I've got point. Alright. Can I... Wrong button. You were the only one that got to spawn. Get wrecked. Wait, what? That noise is something being repaired. Alright, so I believe the way we want to go is this way. Was I right? I know we have to come this way eventually. Like of those transporters over there. But is this the correct All way right, to go first? Go. Ah! No. What happened? She just disappeared. Some kind of energy field from that pod. 
There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. There was nothing we could have done, Chell. We better get a move on, or we might be next. Alright, so to defeat this puzzle of how to get in there without dying, you shoot the pod. That's over here. More dilithium? Eh, why not? Yes, this was the right way to come first. Alright. So. We did have to come up here first so that we could access this control the panel to activate that transporter down there. Which we could have gotten to from that door to see that we had to come find another way to get to a transporter to get up to here. Uh, not to. Alright, there's nothing going to be spawning in here. So we've got to get Chell to see some things. That must be the ship. Really? Hey, is that the starship graveyard of Cardian? What's that in the middle? Hmm, a planet. I wonder if that's their home. That's probably. I won't say. What's that? It's huge. Looks like a space station. I'll give you a hint, Chell. It is. He's about to tell us we have to get up there. To the second floor. I can't shut down the core from here. The main controls are on that upper level. But I think I found the security sequence for that door. Hold on. Got it. Alright. Yep. Could you stop spawning, please? Thank you. I went through half of my total dilithium ammo. Still haven't used the compression rifle. Going to the compression rifle. I remember them taking less damage than this from the compression rifle. I don't want to keep using the lithium right now. I want it for later. And as much as I would like to have destroyed the spawners, Fireflies. Oh. And here's the reason why I didn't want to keep using Dilithium. Because you can do that. And if you didn't, by some chance, do it that way. Or no, you could. You can come over here and then you can just shoot at it directly. And it's all easy. And again, this is the second time I've been through this part and he has done this. Thankfully, Monroe is actually the entire hazard team put into one person. Basically what I'm saying is, without Monroe, there is no hazard team. So, we activate this console, and 
How am I doing ammo? Ah, I don't need to go back. That council. Then cutscene. And suddenly Joel's right next to us. When road to Foster, we've shut down the main computer core. Good. We just shut down the backup power systems. We're on our way to the main power core. Right. Chell and I will meet you there. You and... Where's Telsia? She... didn't make it. Understood. We'll be in the back. Heads up! Keep it together, Chell. It's just you and me now, and Voyager's depending on us to get this information back to them. If we fail, everyone on that ship could end up dead. Now let's go shut down that power core and get out of here. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. We'll make it, Chell. We have to. Come on. Alright, so I don't think we get ambushed here. Yeah, I was right. Ammo. How am I doing on... I'm not gonna use that. Don't stand right in my way. Looks like no one's home. For a change. Alright, so up here, we're gonna have a big, huge fight. And that just instantly breaks. And we can blame it on Chell. Alright, so what you need to do is see these fireflies? You need to get them to where they go, oh, that needs to be repaired. The last time I came through here, I actually destroyed this one, making it a little bit easier to get through. And they repaired the transporter before it, so I was out of here while Chell was stuck here. Alright, so up here... Alright, I already collected that. Great. So we would have had to have fought more here, except that I destroyed both of those. Alright, let's keep moving. I don't like this room. Any more of those up there? Probably open that force field. Hmm. The only way it's going to stay open is if one of us keeps it open from here. I guess that means me. Don't worry, Chell. Yes, it means you. Okay, but hurry. Give me that. Yes, just come to me. Make my job easy. Is that all of you? Thankfully, there's some ammo here.
All right, so, oh, another puzzle. Destroy that, then destroy that, and they go for the other one first. Don't ask me why they don't go for the one that was just closer to them, but they're gonna repair that and you wouldn't make it across in time. Hi, Foster. He had to stay behind, but he's okay. What happened to your team? I thought you were all killed. Those alien things overwhelmed us, but I managed to get away. And we've got to move on if we're going to salvage this mission at all. All right, moving on. Hey, and. Go! This is where I destroyed those pod things. Alright, so... Up here soon. We're just going to... Oh, I can't just yet. Open up the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Yes, I know. Our teammates are there and there. And... I think... Right here. We're must still be alive. So open up the console so we can beam out. We've got to get them out of there. Right. We just have to shut down the power core. Then we can beam them all out of here. And maybe the doctor can do something for them if it's not too late. Come on. All right. So up here, what you want to do is just run. They're going to start spawning in after not too long. Uh, after he finishes his dialogue, and you can just instantly skip all of that if you just run. My people in stasis will die. Just a minute. You're the ones who trapped us on your ship and attacked us. You invaded us. Believed you were the others. Tried to contact you. Communication methods very different. You attack us. They were trying to communicate. We capture your people. Analyze them, learn your language. We are Ethereans, have been trapped here 25 of your sword standard years. Crew, very large. Colony ship, our people in stasis stay alive. A colony ship? Must be a sleeper ship. Long voyages. Yes, long journey. New home. Never will see it now, we fear. The forge has us no escape. We're sorry for the misunderstanding. For killing some of your people. We were only acting in self-defense. Kill? <laughs> Have not killed. When injured, our people return to stasis. Regenerate. Your people too, not killed, in stasis. Analyzed. Those pods. On behalf of my people. We thought the vessel was abandoned. We only wanted information from your computer. We're trying to find our way out of here. Our knowledge is yours. Request and receive. We are allies. We will know the defenses. You may return to your vessel. Find a way out of here. You'll get to your new home. Foster to Lieutenant, it's good to hear your voice. What happened over there? I'll explain when we get back. Let's just say we've made an ally, but we have injuries. We need to be directly to sickbay. Stand by. Sickbay has the wounded. We're ready to beam you back now. Acknowledged. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. See you in the next one.